Another question here, and this is the business owner. He said that there are clients that send him a message and he he replies, but then they never reply back. Okay. Do you recommend to like dispute that lead to like add them to like a nurturing campaign? How do you deal with this type of case? Yeah. So if they're unresponsive, so if you've had somebody that has sent you a message or engaged with you and they're not engaging back with you, you know, put them on a drip campaign. Absolutely. 100%. I mean, why not? You know? And with Go High Level, you can do that. Go High Level is a great system. We use Go High Level for our agency, and we highly recommend it for other businesses. It's, it really does work well. Their review gathering system is great. Their landing page system is great. You know, it keeps getting better. Yeah, it does. Their CRM is really good. Their call tracking is actually pretty darn good. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know, continue to follow up with them. We typically follow up like, once every day for the first, you know, three or four days. And then we put them on, you know, like a weekly. The other thing I do, I literally just record a video of myself and I send that to the person in order to get them to engage. So that's a strategy that sometimes can get people to re-engage. Awesome tip. Amazing. And you mentioned high level. Are there other ways to connect high level with local service ads? Like the way you usually do is make sure that the number that you have is the one that's visible on the profile. Also the same one that people will message. Yeah, that's a, absolutely 100% what I would do is make sure that, that you've got the A2P registered so that you can do things like I was just talking about. They might say stop, you know, with the messaging. They might say, you know, like stop messaging me or whatever because they don't want to be on the subscribe anymore. Remember, you can still engage with them over email or anything else. So that's just for that one communication platform that you can't communicate with them. You can still communicate with them via email. You know, I like all the features that it has. We do use the call tracking sometimes, and then we also use call rail. Amazing. That's a question from me now. I have had a roofing client. For this client, what I had to do was create a whole new profile where I have added roofing, have added siding, have added window. And then I was able to get them approved so they can run ads on all these categories. Is there a way to add an existing profile and add services? Or do you always have to create a new one to have those services ranking as well? Because roofing is a category and then there's siding, which is a different category. Yeah. But I, I wasn't able to add a different category to an existing business. I'm able to check other options within the same category that the business has been approved for. But if I want to yeah. add a whole new category, the only way I have found to do that was creating a new profile, pausing the campaign on this old profile, and then having all those two categories or three categories ranking. You should be able to add, as long as you've got a license, you know, and, and the, the business is licensed and insured, literally should be able to get those guys approved for, for multiple categories. That should not be a, a problem at all. So I don't know why that would be happening because... That's one of the things that Google really encourages is, is to use multiple categories for the same business. As long as you've got a license and insurance for them, you know? Yeah, I didn't have any problems with this client. I just had to start a new profile because I couldn't find a way to just add the current profile, adding a different category. Maybe that's available now. I can't, I can't look into that because I even called Google. Oh, someone just said, you need to call LSA. Yeah. So maybe you need to call them. They will be able to add this new profile. Okay. Yep. That's good to know. Yeah, uh, Ryan, I know it's raining there. Would you like to share like your last thoughts on local service ads, on high level, on the AI voice agents? You can also do a pitch for your service. Just leave it open for you. I appreciate you having me on. We want to help businesses to have a constant stream of pre-qualified, pre-sold leads and to have the best conversion rate possible. So if you guys want to improve your rankings on Google, then let us know. I know that Lucas does a great job as well. I mean, we definitely... I've been doing this for a while and it really does make a difference, you know, to do some of the things that I talked about today. And, and hopefully I was able to give value, you know, and if you do these things, and I also want to say, if you get reviews on a consistent basis, meaning one a week at least, and that's another thing that we coach and train on and go high level is great at, like I said, they've got a great automated tool for that. <laughs> the key though is lending that automated tool with the organic asking for reviews that the business can do and getting it, you know, grassroots. So that's really it. I appreciate you having me on, man. Awesome. And I would like to ask you one last question, which is like, sometimes I do get these types of messages on my Instagram. For someone who's starting right now, what's the main tip that you give to get their first client for local service ads? Yeah, what I would do is set up the local service ads platform, do whatever you need to do to make sure that all the calls are answered. Once you get your first call, convert as many as you can, 
and get reviews from them as fast as you possibly can. And just keep doing that over and over and over again. That's it. That's what I would do. If I was a business owner, I would set up a Google business profile page. I would have an address, by the way, with that business, not a service area business, pay the extra money, get the office, create a, a service area that is a circumference, which is one of the things that we help our clients do, you know, like a circle around that business center point, and then just get reviews, answer the phone and respond to message leads in 30 seconds, and then get reviews and respond to them. And then just rent for a cheap. That once you talk to a business owner and get them on board with local service ads, like what is a tip that you would give them? I would say, you know, have them understand that you're going to be doing the best that you can. You might have to listen to the calls yourself and let them know that you're going to listen to the calls yourself and send them over recording the calls if they're not the quality that you think that they should be. That will let the client know that, that you really care. Also, identify the return on ad spend or the ROAS, return on ad spend. And that will also help them, the business owner understand that you're paying attention to what he's spending and he'll understand the value that you're creating, the return on the ad spend that you're actually generating. So that's really it. Excellent, Ryan. Thank you so much for being here with us. Bye, everyone. Thank you, everyone who has watched this.